So I have a topic. Um, a topic. Let's debate. Yeah. I, it, it was going to be, and I, I heard this before, Rafe Fines. His name is spelled neither Rafe nor Fines. Discuss. <laughs> what? Well, Rafe Fines? The actor? What, what the you? actor. But but I don't want I don't want to discuss him. I had mentioned Peter Paul and Mary. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I just Let's, realized that that my 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 see I reuse Dunkin' Donut cups, so this is like the eighth or ninth uh, trip, and it's now leaked all over everything. Yeah. I had some okay. beverage in there, but it's gone. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to send you here. We got twelve of these at Costco for oh, nineteen sorry. cents. <laughs> it's plastic. <laughs> Next time I go, I'm going to buy a hundred. I'll send them to you, please. And if you get any more of those razors, I, I've been cherishing. I've been keeping them like they're gold. Hey, listen, you know those razors. What I learned is when you're done shaving, rinse it out, mm. dry it with a, 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 a napkin, a towel, something. Blow into it to to get it nice and dry. Those things last forever. So those are Kirkland. Yeah. Oh, listen. That, that's that's my brand. I used to buy Calvin Klein underwear and socks. Then I went to the Kirkland brand underwear. And now I buy Amazon Basics. I buy every, all my clothes come from Amazon, whatever their brand. Amazing, is. isn't it? I actually came across pictures of you and me, which which I guess is like a dozen years ago or more. Boy, we were handsome right. devils 12, 15 years ago. I know, right? Almost, what the hell happened you know, to us? I, I don't know. I look wrong. in the mirror and say, I didn't give you permission to get old. I look in the mirror. I don't even know who the hell's looking back. I don't even lie about my age anymore. Remember no, uh, uh, Urban, the song that he that he wrote for that? I believe that uh, the woman in the mirror. Oh, wait a minute. The, what what was it? the woman in the mirror. Who is she? Who is she? The woman in the mirror. Oh, that Couldn't I don't be remember. Like that. I just yeah, remember, yeah. I believe, and you better go now. That uh, Well, those were published. This one was, he did the music with a guy, somebody wrote the book. It was called The War Widow. It was a Broadway musical. Oh, and he was writing all the music for it. And what? the one song, remember the one song, Amy? There was a song he wrote called Amy. No, you don't remember that one? Kind of, I don't really remember that. Yeah, it was, uh, how did it go? He, I don't know. I, I don't remember what, what, it. what amazed me about Irvin was here's a guy that wrote a, a classic song, I believe, that's probably still someone recording somewhere. And at oh, the yeah, end, absolutely. he was just trying to get someone to listen to his music. I remember him saying, when when that uh, song, y you, you Better Go Now, was in that movie. I yep. can't remember the movie. The, real, the movie about real uh, estate. Walter. What was it? Glenn, Rocket Gibraltar. That was uh, Charlton Heston. Yeah. No, I thought. Yeah, there was. It was. It was Glenn done Gary. in. No, it was. It was uh, Rocket Gibraltar, and it was uh, Charlton Heston. It was done in the nineties, and yeah, they used it for that movie. And I remember him saying, "Well, now maybe someone will listen to my music." And he was eighty. He must have been eighty at the I time. Seventy. Yeah. yeah. He was. Uh, he was um, he was uh, artistic and very uh, and he knew what he was doing. He, yeah, and he always dressed even when he was in jeans and a shirt. I remember he came visit me once, and he had hurt himself, and he's twirling a cane like, like walking yeah. down with a very nicely pressed shirt, twirling a cane. It was. I remember Jim Bonnie and I were walking up, I don't know, Fifth Avenue or something. And all of a sudden, here comes Irvin with the hat, the jacket, the cane. And you're right, he was twirling. And Jim goes, look, there's Irvin. I'm like, what? holy crap. And he just a little spry 85-year-old yeah, man. Yeah. Just oh, God yeah. bless him. Do you remember that? <laughs> you must remember oh, that. yeah. Oh, my God. What, yeah. What is that? JU66? Is it 6300? Wow, that's... Yeah, that was me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you remember was that? That was during your that was your Bud Light days, right? When you did that commercial yes. for Bud Light. Well, we what did we do with these? Send them to people and say, "Hey, give me a yeah, job." Yeah, you put a something. little. It was a postcard. You you you, you addressed it, <laughs> and you said, "Hi, hire me." You know. <laughs> yeah. Now everything's done. Di now everything's done digital. Now you got to do your own. You have to tape yourself doing a uh, doing an audition. You don't even go to auditions anymore. 
The only I went to the there's an Amazon uh, tiny little bodega like store in the financial district that I went to about a year before the pandemic. And it's little yeah. tiny and you walk in, you know, you put stuff in a bag that they give you, you walk out. I mean, you walk in, you've hit the back of the store and the only doubt it's beautiful experience. Nothing. Nobody's the body. You. you walk out, you get an invoice on your phone. The only downside. Ethan was with me. He goes, oh, yeah, let's buy those uh, those pistachios. I said, you nuts. It's nine dollars for three pistachios. He said, you don't have to pay for it. No, you do have to pay for it. And then I, I said, well, there's the downside. Yeah. Well, you know, my wife will come home with something that we absolutely do not need. Why'd you buy that? It was on sale. Oh, yeah. That, well, it's not we got don't that need it, but mind. it was on sale. Yeah. I saved eight dollars. Yeah, but you spend twenty-two <laughs> for tomorrow. We go into double digits for Cabo. You know, when you talk like that, it doesn't seem much. But then I think June, July. Peter, or- let me tell you, we, I've I've been through this with the family. When we go to Cancun, six months, it goes fast. It goes like that. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be <laughs> September sixth. Before you know it, we'll be leaving in a day, and. Uh, Oh, by the way, did they? Uh, has your airline changed your reservation no. yet, or no? You no. Still haven't heard. Okay, well, we still have three months. Who, who are you flying with? Um, I think Jet uh, Jet Blue. I actually Jet Jet Blue. I just saw the. Uh, okay. I had printed a. Oh, well, you know, I'm getting. I'm preparing for the. Um, <laughs> the end of life, and I'm making a list of all my passwords so that Zayna can go shopping in Amazon and do all the things. I do. I have a. a I have a, I'm, I'm starting a whole thing. I don't want to. Uh, oh, that's funny. I get in 11 16 a.m. Okay, so I get in at 12 30. Oh, that's, so, that's yeah, a little bit that's more than an hour. Yeah, it's not bad. You just I like it. It's not big. You probably just have to walk a couple thousand yards, mm-hmm. take your time, Tell have a margarita. I, I, the way I walk, <laughs> maybe I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> the next day. I... <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know yeah. who just sent me a picture of a. Lori, you're sent kidding. A, sent a picture of a drink. Um, I forget a strawberry jalapeno margarita. Is that? It looks delicious. Strawberry, strawberry jalapeno. I don't know what. You, I don't think you can see. Oh that. my god! Wow. Yeah. Well, Plus, yeah. I guess uh, hot and sour. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it is. It looks very good though. Strawberry. Jalapeno. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So that's yeah. the whole story. Well, you look good. You're, you're aging well. I uh, you know, I, I'm trying to take care. But you know what, Peter? My whole life, you know, you and I, we've known each other over 40 years. Never smoked a cigarette. Never really drank until I was in my late 30s. Then I started drinking heavily. You made up so for lost time, I, though. I made up for lost time, but I got past those formidable years. You know. Yeah. Hey, I mean, have you have you seen this this show with Ted Danson called Mr. Mayor? No, I've heard of it, well, but I haven't seen. You it. look just like him. The glasses, but he has like white hair. If your hair was white, you'd look just like him. Um, my hair is white. It's just um, you know, I put a little shoe polish in it to make it look at. No, you know what to do. Get the uh, the Clairol shampoo for men. I have that. Clairol. Twice a week. Just, you know, put as you're showering, you put it in your hair, let it sit for about two minutes, clean the rest of your body, and then rinse it out. The more you use it, the darker the hair gets. I'll try that. Yeah, look. I think I look a little, I I have a distinguished look with a little gray in my hair. Yeah, no, a little gray is nice, but not... But not all white. Not as, I shouldn't look like a snowball, like a hostess snowball. Oh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Let me know when you want to do this again. We'll do it. Well, I yeah, figured it out. We'll make it a weekly thing. Sure. If you're, if yeah. you're, all right, cool. We'll talk yeah. during the week. Okay, cool. Hasta la vista. Me. All right, later.